What's up everybody? In this video, I've got an awesome rack attachment that's guaranteed to give you shoulder boulders. Oh yeah, we're doing a rack attached lateral raise. I got this idea from a video posted by Alex Good at the Sorenex facility. It's a fairly simple build. It only requires a few basic tools, but it's already become my favorite piece of gym equipment. As per usual, I'll show you a couple different design options to choose from, and this time I'll throw in some modifications as well. Let's get started. Safety first. Wear a dust mask. Wear eye protection. Wear hearing protection. DIY projects are awesome, but being safe is even more awesome. The first option has a medium difficulty. It takes about an hour to an hour and a half to make and costs between $75 and $85. The first cut is the two by six. I clamp this piece to my power rack, make sure it's level, and mark where the holes need to go. Next, I mark the three quarter inch holes for the bearings. These holes are three inches from each side. To the left and to the right of each three quarter inch hole are two smaller holes. I mark those and make sure everything is even and symmetrical before moving over to the drill press. My rack has one inch holes, so I'm drilling holes with my one inch Forstner bit. This can be modified if you have a rack with five eighths holes. Next, I drill the holes for the bearings, three quarter inch holes for the center and quarter inch holes for the bolts to attach. After those are done, I cut the two by fours. The length of these will depend on the length of your arms. I'm 5'7", and I cut my two by fours to 16 inches. It's optional, but I round the edges with my router and a roundover bit. I need to drill a few holes into the two by four. Each one needs two three quarter inch holes and a three eighths inch hole. Here are the lengths of the boards and the hole sizes. Again, a lot of this is subjective. You can modify to fit your specific rack and body measurements. When I assemble, I put the bearings onto the two x six and secure them with four inch long bolts. Once those are tight, the three quarter inch bolt goes in with the two x four. In this case, the six inch bolt is not quite long enough Rather than go back to the hardware store and buy a seven inch bolt, I drill out a slightly wider opening on the two x four. This gives me enough room to secure the nut on the other side. The weight sleeves are made from dowels and carriage bolts. I had these ready to go from a previous project. The sleeve themselves are six and a half inches long and happen to be perfect for this. If you haven't seen how I make these, I have a quick tutorial to show you how it's done. The arm pads are made from a 3 quarter inch threaded rod cut into 12 inch pieces. I already had these cut too, but here's some stock footage to show you how it's done. Insert the rod into the 2x4 and put the pad on the rod. The nuts are used as spacers and the washers help keep the pad in place. Now we're good to go. I load it up and it works like a charm. The second option is easier to make, takes about 45 minutes to an hour, and costs between $125 and $135. I attach a 3 quarter inch floor flange on one side and a weight sleeve on the other side. The weight sleeve is attached with two inch and a half lag screws. I screw in the 3 quarter inch pipe and squeeze the foam pad onto the pipe. Add a cap on the end and move on to the next one. After that, the rest of the steps are the same. When I put this on my rack, I use a 1 inch thick bolt on top and 7 eighths on the bottom. I find it's easier to install and remove this way. This one looks good and feels identical. Now let's cover questions and comments from Instagram and TikTok. Resistance is zero at the bottom and 100% at the top. It's not horrible and you can still get a good pump, but there are ways to increase resistance at the bottom. The easiest option is to add bands and it's a burner. The awesome thing about using bands is they provide so many different options. You can use long bands, short bands, thin bands, thick bands, and they all provide different resistance. Another option is to change weight pin placement or add an additional pin. This modification took about 30 minutes and made a huge difference. These are the pieces I added to each side. I threw this together real quick using pocket holes. For longevity, I'd suggest reinforcing the joints with mending plates. 
Can it be modified to have multiple functions? Yes. It took a minute to figure out the right way to do it, and to be honest, it is kind of a pain in the butt to set up, but I did get it to work as a leg extension and leg curl. It actually felt pretty good. Now there may be a better way to set it up, I don't know. I've already got a machine for this, so I didn't want to spend too much time on it. Can you add handles? Yes. You can easily add handles by adding a 45 degree elbow and a six inch piece of pipe. If you're looking for longer handles, I've got you covered. Disassemble a two inch caster, drill a quarter inch hole into the pipe, fasten the caster base onto the two x four, attach the pipe, add the 45 degree elbow and the six inch pipe. Boom. Can you make it adjustable for multiple people to use? Yes. In this case, the first design is actually better. You can add multiple holes and move the pads and weight sleeves around to accommodate different arm lengths and change the weight distribution. That being said, both designs can easily move up and down the rack. Why not just use dumbbells? Sure. If you have dumbbells, you can use those instead. Some people may not have the space for a full set of dumbbells or the cash. This thing is small and costs a lot less than a full set of dumbbells. It was also brought to my attention that this is a good option for people with wrist pain, hand injuries, or amputations. Oh, we got one more? What is it? Don't like his, hers voice. I'm out. Okay, cool, peace out, bro. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos, follow on Instagram and TikTok, and tag me in your DIY gym builds. I love to see those.